Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So this time we're going to be doing a guide on Hypixel Party Games. Um, I play it quite a bit. Um, I can usually squeeze by in the top three, um, so I figured I might as well make a guide. So a brief rundown of party games. There's 25 mini games. Um, I'm probably going to cut together some clips and then probably upload two parts of this video because there's quite a few mini games. Um, so, uh, last quick note before we jump in, thank you guys so much for bringing me from 137 to 138 subscribers. Can we make it to 139 subscribers? Um, I sure hope so. Anyways, right into party games. Um, then again, I'm by no means a master at party games. I'm just pretty okay, I'd say. Um, but I have a couple of tips and tricks that I'm going to show you guys and see if you guys can use it to your own advantage. So this one's pretty cool. Um, I like to go into F5 for this one and then find a spot where there's no people. Um, usually people get cleared out pretty quickly. And you're gonna wanna move to the back because that gives you some time to go forward like this. Um, and that's usually the strategy I do because if you go forward like this, then you're landing furthest away from the line um, you don't want to jump in the same spot, then you might hit the line again. Uh, the worst part is glitching or lagging and then losing this game, but usually it ends up to be you and like one last person. Um, as you can see, that's the situation I'm in right now. Um, I've gone over to the 50s or 60s, and keep in mind it's okay to lose a mini game. Uh, there's plenty of others. Still sneak away with the win, so. We're just gonna see how long this guy lasts. Again, I moved away from him because other people kind of distract me. Um, and then, yeah, stick in F5, third person. If I could speed this up. A lot of the times, uh, once you get to the, if you keep playing this game for a while, we'll get kind of mad and type in chat. So far, no one's done that yet. Sometimes people even leave the game, but... Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I'm keeping my eyes on the right. Um, I'm not even looking at my character. That way I can see when the lines come in. Oh! He got me there. Alrighty. So this game is really laggy. I don't know if they fixed it, but sometimes you can like lag your way up to the front. But usually it lags on the descent and it won't allow you to do it unless you're in a certain version of Minecraft. Ooh, they might have fixed it because it seems to be working for me right now. But again, just fly through the rings. Um, if you need to slow down a bit, feel free to because missing a ring is worse than... Uh, you know, worse than losing that speed. So, let's see if we can do this. Whoop. Ah, see, I missed that one, and now we're super slow on to the next one. See the guy's right behind me. He's already gaming on me. Can't believe they fixed this minigame now. Oops. Ooh, didn't think we would get that one. And it's okay if you hit the sides as well. There we go. First place. Wow. Okay, so I think they fixed that mini game because before this was like a lot of trouble for me and my friends when we would play party games and uh, every time you would try to descend on the chicken, you'd fall right off, but apparently not anymore. So, got the win on this one. the next game right so uh, this one's interesting um, I don't know the biggest tip I have is stay mobile and uh, find people uh, pre shoot constantly be shooting shoot where they're gonna land not what they're where they're gonna end up that guy over there is a one shot but he's running away from me so we're gonna try to see if we can we already got one there Again, suit the ground where they're gonna end up. Don't shoot at, shoot at where they're flying. Not 
one heart, so the next person to get me, they're guaranteed to go there. Uh, if there's groups of people, one strategy is to snipe at the groups of people. This one also, like, this game is very laggy a lot of the time. Your own pig, I don't think it can hurt you, so feel free to shoot at yourself if there's a person next to you. You can also try stealing kills, it's what some people do. This guy's standing still, so I'm gonna try to get him. Let's go. But stealing kills isn't cool. So. And this guy's AFK, so again, trying to get him is a good idea. Got that dude as well. We're already at 7, we've built up a pretty good lead, so shouldn't be any trouble. Just winning this one, unless someone manages to get a lot of kills very quickly. Don't make yourself a target. Again, make sure you're constantly moving and not staying on the ground, because uh, the people that are on the ground are the ones to die first. You can sneak up behind someone, that's also a good strategy. But there we go. Frozen Floor. Um, I'm not that great at this one, honestly. I usually don't make it very far, um, but we're going to try. Just don't stay near the edges. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, you see someone that's standing still. When you're targeting someone, by the way, don't let your sight off them because um, they will chase you. And when you're running away, you're building momentum towards them knocking you off. Um, and then beware of the middle as well. That's why you don't really want anyone behind you because they can kind of sneak up on you. And oh, this see this dude just oh, lagging forwards. And then I'm I was screwed there. If you got a single shot on me, I'll also shoot where someone's gonna go because snowballs have a weird velocity. And it's just me and this dude now. So I'm just gonna run towards him. Uh, that way he can't build up too much velocity. Make sure you strafe left and right. Make it harder for them to shoot you. I don't know why I'm lagging so much. Jeez, keeps teleporting me. Oh, we kind of snuck behind him there. We had a shot, but shoot at where he's gonna go. He's doing the same strategy, going left and right. Oh, he got me, fair and square. Okay, so new game, um, fishing. I'm. This is probably the one I'm worst at. Uh, but just try to move backwards when you got a pig, and don't shoot for the ones that are swimming away from you because those will take up all your time and they will be very annoying to get uh, so this one's sideways got him again if a pig is close but swimming away if a pig is swimming towards you 100% go for it um, if the pig is swimming away a lot of the times they won't go no matter how much you fishing rod them you pull them in so but I've actually built up a sizable lead because I'm not going for those pigs that are actively swimming away. And again, make sure you're moving back when you're hooking them. Um, I'm not sprinting or anything, just walking normally. See, like that one's going away from me, so I'm not gonna keep going after it because it's not gonna wanna go to my uh, area. That one is also kind of going away from me. The ones that are sideways, you can shoot for. This one's so close. There we go. You can see we've already built up a lead. This one, see, it's going to keep going away from me, so I'm not going to keep going after it. If they're on your ledge like that, you might as well. Um, but again, if they keep going away, then don't worry about it. And we actually won this one with a huge lead. So I guess that's how that works. This game, the maze, um, a lot of the time it depends on your spawn point. Some spawn points are slightly closer to the middle. Um, go to F5. Some people like to put their FOV all the way back, um, but I don't do that. And then kind of jump up and see, like, that's a dead end. It's also okay to go back. Uh, your spider won't hit, kill you on the first hit. Um, yeah, looks like we are getting closer. When you see water, that's a good sign. Water usually means um, you're getting close. And then that's how you do it. So F5, some people like to put their FOV to 100. Um, I'm not even gonna try that out. I don't wanna know how that works, but cause you have to do it really quickly right when the game starts. Um, but yeah, as you can see, some spawn points are like centered more. Um, if you're in the corner, it's a lot more difficult for you to get there. We had a pretty, not that great spawn point, but we managed to F5 and get lucky. And again, even if the spider gets you, don't give up, uh, try to 
jump around him and still end up in the middle. That easy. Um, I like this one a lot. I don't know why. Alright, so this one, um, don't go for the chickens. Always go for the pigs. Uh, there are only two shots, plus three, it's pretty good. If you see a chicken in your path, go for them. Uh, always read what you are killing before you do it, so. And then I don't like to go for the cows. Um, if I see one, I'll grab it, but they're usually too fast for me. And again, um, pigs are usually the money maker here. But again, if I see a cow and see how that one ran away from me, I'm not even going to bother chasing it down. Unless it comes towards me like that. See some chickens in my path, gonna grab them along the way, and then, yep, just I'm just going for the pigs because they're easy two shots and they don't run upon their first hit. Uh, just be careful with those plus 50 percents. Sometimes stuff is a one shot because someone else might have already tried to grab it. Um, but yeah, usually people don't go for the pigs, they always go for the cows. Um, and yeah, there we are. Again, I don't even look at my score. I'm just paying attention on the screen trying to see if I can grab any cows. This game is one of the most fun in my opinion, but it's pretty difficult because people will cut you off a lot. You're going to want to make sure you can uh, start, go away from other people, start from the wall, and try to grab as big of a square as you can right away like this. Uh... And so now I have all that space, and because I already grabbed all that space, I can extend out here and claim even more land. And then I can claim even more land out here. So I have so much land at this point, now, now it just makes sense to just try to fill up the space I already have. Um, because if I keep trying to cut off other people, or grab even more land, um, I'm going to waste time that I could spend on clicking and filling in the space I do have and getting points that way. So as long as I never stop filling up my space and I grab as much space as possible, um, I'm good to just not worry about other people. A lot of the times people will try to step in front of you to get in the way, just ignore them. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I pretty much grab three quarters of the entire map there. This one's a lot of fun as well. Um, you're just gonna wanna, I always just look straight down because that's exactly where I'm going to land, and then find a square, and then just keep spreading off. So when it gets a little bit more filled up, a lot of the times people will drop out of the game and stuff like that. So because there's only four of us playing, this game's going to be a lot easier, as long as you never stop running off and then just look straight down, find a square, uh, avoid the riskier jumps, avoid trying to cut off other people. If one area gets clouded, um, you can jump like this, and then you can land at a further area, like I just did over there. But I still have all the space right over here, so I'm going to try to grab that. In a smaller game like this, just never stop running off and getting in there until the timer runs out, so. Again, look for spaces of blocks that are 2x2 two two or more. Um, that's going to be where you want to land, because it minimizes your risk. If there were more people in this game, I'd have to do some more complex maneuvers, but because I never stopped running off and I didn't hit another block once, um, I managed to win that one. So that concludes part one of Party Games, um, my guide to Party Games. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I should be making more, um, more of my guide to Party Games pretty soon. Um, and yeah, I'll get you guys in the next video. See ya.